Hello and welcome back to Sigma TV. I'm Yannick Collins and here we are back on another interview with the co-founder and CEO of Unibo, Alexis Weissen. It has been a hot minute since we last spoke just a few weeks ago. Alexis, great to have you back on the show. It's great to be here. Thank you. Yes, and we're up for a very interesting topic for today's discussion, which is all about gamification. And it's essentially what you guys do at Unibo. And you previously mentioned that you and your co-founder were a team of casino veterans with over 40 years of experience combined in the iGaming space and running casinos effectively. And eventually, quoting you on, your, on the information on your site, the motivation behind creating Unibo was due to the fact, based on what you've noticed, was the lack of effective operator and player-friendly gamification and engagement tools on the market. Now, I wanted to jump straight in before we move on to its significance. Could you define to us what gamification is for the sake of our audience who may not be familiar with the term? Sure, of course. I mean, gamification at its uh, whole is basically anything, it's the reasons why you want to play a game. So, for example, I mean, we could take an easy example, take basketball. If you just have a ball, you don't have a game. If you add, well, if you throw the ball through a hoop, you get one point. Now you have a little bit of a game. If you add things like, well, now you have to do it against someone else. It's a little bit more fun. And then you add a tournament on top. So now you've added different uh, layers of gamification all along the way and making it a little bit more fun and more engaging for the, for the two players to enjoy these things. So when it comes to online gaming, it's about adding these kind of extra layers on top of the slots and games like missions, tournaments, and basically anything you've seen in other games that you can add on top, achievements, that makes it more fun for the player to keep playing the games, stay with you longer and become more loyal to your brand. In all simpleness, that's basically it. making it more fun to play the games that everyone already has. Absolutely, that makes perfect sense. And how about the need for gamification and unified promotional tools? How important are these tools for organizations to utilize? And what do you think is the missing in the current offerings? Um, I think that a lot of providers have started moving towards getting these tools built because they've seen that operators themselves had uh, historically not built them. So many, some operators, casinos have built these tools, but uh, they've only gone so far and not expanded to a whole huge concept. So because historically operators have aimed towards adding more providers to your sites, adding more jurisdictions and with jurisdictions comes all these other legislations that you need to adhere to or you have to add more payment methods and so on so all of these things takes a lot of efforts from your development teams and it, it leads to you having to focus on there instead of trying to build and be innovative and build the next kind of gamification area that sets you apart from all of the competitors basically which also have been adding the same providers or the same payment methods or going into the same jurisdictions that you have Brilliant. And game providers seem to be adding their own gamification elements into their games now. Do you see this as a positive step forward? Um, definitely. I mean, uh, providers started doing this uh, four or five years ago when big providers such as Red Tiger or Play and Go developed tournaments, jackpots, missions, achievements, similar things, which uh, made it more fun for the players to play their games, obviously. And operators started using these tools to engage with their players. But the limitation obviously was that the tools only work on that provider's games. So you couldn't mix and match, you couldn't create promotions where if you wanted to have a Christmas promotion, you had Christmas games from different providers, you could then only take the two or three Christmas games that were available on that provider. So uh, whilst it is a stopgap solution for the future, I think that a lot of operators in say three to four years will have moved towards having these sort of aggregated methods. But until then, there's a very good opportunity for providers to add these things as well. But we know that the market is quite big, so there's always an opportunity. <laughs> yes. So with Unibo, marketing is not limited at all, definitely. And when we look at iGaming trends, Alexis, I'd love for you to identify some of the trends that you've observed happen in this space back in 2020 and what you foresee in the year ahead. Um, I think we'll move more towards personalized uh, things for the player. 
players. I think there's been a lot of the tournaments, races in these kind of areas, but I think we'll move more towards personalized where the player gets to choose when to do something and gets rewarded for something that he does right away. Sort of more of an instant reward kind of thing rather than fighting against others. But I think there's a, there's a value to be had in having a, a wide variety of things on your site which can adhere to different player groups. Alexis, last point, um, I would love to get your perspective on the take up for these type of types of promotional tools, which seems to be slow moving. Why do you think that is? Um, as I mentioned before, to build it in house takes a lot of, uh, well, it takes a big decision because you need to step away from other things that you have already planned to be building. And I think historically there's been a lack of uh, outside or two uh, third party tools that you can integrate, which have been specifically built for iGaming gaming and specifically tailored for the uh, for the pros and cons of the iGaming gaming business, the hardships and the easy things, I guess. Um, and now that's what we have built. We wanted to try to fit that uh, position in the market and make it so that gamification can be something that any casino can easily plug and play and get. Excellent. Fantastic uh, points right there, Alexis. You've imparted a great amount of information and knowledge with us today. Thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you soon in the upcoming Sigma events. Definitely. Thanks a lot for having me. And that is it for myself and Alexis. Let us know how you found this segment. Drop us a comment on the comment box below and we'll see you on the next video.